Today, I want to share a song with you and talk a little bit about the question, how do we experience the joy of Jesus? I believe based on scripture, that involves the Holy Spirit. After all, joy is one of the fruit of the Spirit found in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. The song, Create in Me a Clean Heart, also talks about this connection between salvation, the Holy Spirit, and joy. And the words are taken directly, nearly word for word, from Psalm chapter 51, verses 10 through 12. I hope you enjoy. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, O Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and renew a right spirit within me. I love how this concept, this idea of joy, is very simple. The question then becomes, if it's so easy, then why is it so complicated? The reality is that in order to experience joy or choose joy, means to experience and choose Jesus, the joy of my salvation. In order to have joy, you must have Jesus. You cannot and will not experience true joy without Jesus, having a relationship with him. Oh no, that sounds, that sounds even more complicated. Well, I really like how Pastor Bill Barker broke it down in our revival services when he talked about how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is living inside of each and every one of us that accepts Jesus as our Lord and Savior, and therefore we have a relationship with him. Pastor Barker shared that if we want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, we must do these four things daily. Number one, desire to be filled by God. Do I, do you, do we desire to be filled by God? Do we ask him to fill our lives? Do we seek him? Do we desire to be filled by him? Number two, confess our sins to God. The first part of this song and the title are, Create in Me a Clean Heart. Do we regularly ask God to show us things in our lives that are against him? to create in us a clean heart. That involves consi consistently and daily confessing our sins to God. Number three, yielding to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yield means to give way to, uh, to follow. Do we follow the Holy Spirit? Do we, um, do we give way for the Holy Spirit to move in our lives? And lastly, Live in and by faith each day. We're not always going to have the answers. We're not always going to know why. But we can rest assured in this faith that we have to live by. Believing without seeing. Do we live in and by faith each day? I pray that we understand today that to experience joy means to experience Jesus. We must surrender to him and seek his will. God bless.